Hey guys, it is Colleen, and I'm here with a text effects tutorial um, for Sony Vegas Pro 13. Although you could probably do this with Movie Studio um, or similar programs. Um, the text effects that I'm going to show you is a glossy text shown at the beginning of the tutorial. So first things first is you want to figure out what clip you're going to use and if you're going to um, do the text effect to like dialogue or like to a lyric in the song. So, well, I'm going to be using Selena Gomez's um, Good For You video. So, we're going to add the video to the timeline and then pick which section you want your text effect to be in. Gonna wear that dress you like skin tight. Pulling my hair up real, real nice. Cause I just wanna look. Okay, right there. Sure. After you get your clip figured out, cause I just wanna look good for you, good for you. Uh. And the clip right there. Just wanna look good for you, good for you. Okay. All right. Now what you're going to do is make another track and then go to your media generator and legacy text or you can go to text and tiles it doesn't matter. and then you can use any font you want any size basically um so I'm just gonna keep it on Arial and then make it italic and then I'm gonna put put it in all caps. You don't have to, but I do. So, and, I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit to like 28. Um no, let's do 36. Okay. And then now you're gonna go into your effects. You're gonna make drop shadow, reduce the feather to that there, go to outline, make it black, and then kind of make it bigger to your liking. And then kind of feather it out a little bit. Right there. Okay. Now after that one's made, what you're going to do is you're going to hit right click, hit duplicate track, then highlight, and then right click, copy, delete the top one, highlight, paste, and then make sure to create a new copy of source so hit ok and then now what you're going to do is you're going to make this one darker like this it won't show up here let's so you'll kind of look like that. And uh, put it like right there. That's good. And then, um, and then go up into the bottom one in your padding prop and make, go to mask, make sure it's check marked. And then you want to come zoom in. And then you're gonna take your masking tool and kind of make like a diagonal 
shaped thing. And then, um, before you do anything else, make sure it feathers out a little bit. So, go both, and then like, just barely feather it out. And then you're gonna, um, it depends on how long you want it to glisten, but I just go until the end. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to stretch it like a little bit and then you're going to move it just like that and then make sure it goes off like that. And then exit out, and then you're gonna play it back. If you don't want it that slow, you can always make it shorter by moving in the little keyframe, and then it'll go faster. So now, what you're going to do, unmask that. Um, yeah, uh, oh, another thing is if you prefer the, to be no feather, you don't have to put feather, it's just what you prefer. Um, some people don't have feather and it looks fine. Another thing is if you want like a bright glisten, make it, make the bottom one brighter if you don't. Want a bright glisten, kind of make it a little bit more dim, like that. Um, I'm gonna make it probably to about there. That looks about good. One thing I would like to mention is that sometimes it kind of looks cool if you've got like a um. A transition that fades in and fades out of the text to make it kind of complete, more professional looking, I guess you would say. So kind of make sure that if you do use a transition, you can kind of see the transition. Because sometimes if you make it too short, you can't really get the effects. Like if you, um, like let's say, uh, let's go to transitions. A linear white, let's see, linear white, okay, I'm going to make sure that you do it to both tracks, not just one, because it'll look stupid, and then, you know, test it out, let's see, ah, preview, auto, okay, spread it out a little bit more, Okay, so I'm obviously not paying attention to what I'm doing, and the text is starting not where I want it to start. So, I'm gonna start about there. And the text there. I'm a space cadet. I'm not paying attention. Obviously, you want text to fade out. I'm not gonna use linear because I don't want the same thing. So what I like to do is I like to just play. I like to play around. You know, I it takes me forever to edit, so I like to play around with the effects and just you know, just I don't know, I just have fun playing around and, and experimenting and all that kind of stuff so it takes me forever to edit a video because I always get sidetracked with different things and yeah um so I like to go to motion a lot motion 
The motion transitions are my favorite. Don't forget to do it to both. So, can I test it out? That's perfect. And then, um, yeah. And then all I did was just add a coloring. And then I'll go add a coloring. Diamond rose add. And then I'm done. And that's about it. And let me know if you like this tutorial. If it helps. If you need have any questions just put them in the comments I will do my best to answer them um, but yeah if you have any requests or you know whatever let me know and I will talk to you guys in the next video